picture number eight, and I'm featuring one of the southeast of England's most iconic landscapes, or should I say seascape, Seven Sisters in East Sussex, sometimes mistaken for the White Cliffs of Dover. It is not. That's further down the coast. This is the classic view with the Coast Guard cottages in the foreground a scene which a lot of people don't see because you park in the wrong place. There is a car park from where this viewpoint is taken. Seaford Head, South Hill Barn. There is a car park up there, but difficult to find because you have to go through a maze of residential streets in Seaford itself. If, like me, you're feeling energetic, would like a nice walk, then park in Seaford, take the coast path and go up Seaford Head and then the glorious panorama then reveals itself bit by bit as you get closer to Cook Mere Haven. That is the true way to approach Seven Sisters, not the visitor car park on the main road at Exeat. If you go there no reason why you shouldn't, but the chances are that you could find yourself on the wrong side of the Cookmere River, so you can't get across, and where you should be is across the river, up the hill, up Seaford Hill, head on the right-hand side. Seven Sisters is not too far away from where I live. I can get to it quite uh, easily. Therefore, over the years, I've taken many photographs. When researching the pictures for this programme, I came across one of my earliest pictures taken with the Olympus E20. You remember that? That is pre-E1, the E20 and it had a fixed lens, if you remember. Anyway, I was using that at the time, and I had to say to JPEG, and I think the digital processing in the camera has done quite a good job. Of course, these days I save to RAW, and that is perhaps essential normally for this type of photograph. What is the problem? Well, of course, it's the White Cliffs of the Seven Sisters. All too often, it is so easy for those cliffs to become overexposed, then erasing, eradicating the delicate detail in those cliffs. So you have to spot meter. And I do feel that by saving to RAW and doing the processing myself back at home on Adobe Lightroom, which I will show you in a moment, then you are in greater control of how the picture will look. Now this particular scene, which is much more recent than the last one, is what I call my chocolate box, my colourful, my commercial um, presentation. If you, and I'll show this to you in a minute, if you feel that the colour is too strong, all one does in Adobe Lightroom is to bring down a bit the variance slider control and perhaps we have colours which you would find more acceptable. This was taken on a different day yet again to the other two and there's a bit more cloud in the sky. The foreground is nice and sunny but the distant view is under light cloud and that of course the reduction in contrast is going to help me as a photographer to get a bit more detail into those white cliffs rather than having them just burning out. It really does look rather bland when that uh, happens but I still have to do a little bit of adjustment in Lightroom so we'll take a look at that now shall we? So here is the image straight out of camera without any alterations and as you can see it looks quite different to the digitally processed picture. 
Now, what I often do, and it's a formality which I have followed over the years, in this particular case, I would take the whites and highlights right down to keep that important detail in the uh, image. It was, of course, a little dark, so I have increased the exposure as well, and also lightened the blacks a little bit to get a bit more detail into those bushes in the foreground. And then I added a touch of clarity, and then after that is the variance, which gives perhaps the rather chocolate box looking colours, but take it down a little bit, and perhaps you look, will like those colours a little better. So there you are. That's how I approach the classic view of um, the Seven Sisters from Seaford Head. So if you're feeling energetic, as I say, then park the car in Seaford itself, or you can get there by train or bus if you don't want to use uh, a car, and why not? Go over Seaford Head and you'll get that fantastic view of the distant Seven Sisters. And then, of course, if you can find your way through a maze of residential streets, then there is the South Hill Barn. It's a rough car park approached by a rough lane, unless they've done it up in recent years. So there you are. There is my get the picture for Seven Sisters in East Sussex.